Drone footage gathered by FactWire shows that the Taishan nuclear power plant is nearing completion. Nuclear experts said that the dome shells of the twin reactors have been sealed. Therefore, if there are any problems in the dome, the reactors would either have to be shut down or continue operating in risk. The nuclear power plant is located only 130 kilometers from Hong Kong. It was installed with third-generation European pressurized reactor technology, also known as EPR. Using the French-developed EPR technology, the power plant will be the world's most advanced nuclear power facility today. Reports by the French Nuclear Safety Authority shows that the top and bottom part of the EPR pressure vessel has exceeded the safe limit of carbon steel concentration. Made of steel, the pressure vessel could be too brittle and lead to radiation leaks. Because of this, nuclear power plants installed with the same technology in Finland and France have already stopped construction. However, construction of the Taisha nuclear power plant continued. All nuclear fissions will occur in the sealed reactors, making them the most important part of the nuclear power plant. The vessels in the reactors have to withstand high pressure, high temperature and radiation emitted from the fissions. Facts why reporters spoke to at least seven engineers and architects sent by Arriva to oversee construction in Taishan. They said the power plant will begin operating in 2018 at the earliest, though construction is almost completed. A series of tests have to be carried out to make sure that the power plant is up to standard. However, they said that the Chinese authorities hope to launch it as soon as 2017, making it the world's first power plant to use third-generation nuclear technology. China General Nuclear Power Corp, CGN in short, responded to the problem of pressure vessels for the first time earlier this month. CGN said that Arriva has previously inspected and approved all components of the two reactors. However, Arriva released the inspection results last month, stating that the excess in carbon steel concentration is worse than expected. They announced that further tests would be carried out until the end of the year. Some nuclear experts described the Taisha nuclear power plant as a testing ground for the EPR technology. An unnamed nuclear energy market expert believes that the Chinese are eager to begin operations due to financial pressures. The delay in the launch of Taishan Unit 1 of the plant from 2013 to now may have cost them a lot of money down the drain. The Taishan nuclear power plant is a joint venture between CGN and French energy group Electricité de France. CGN takes up 70% of shares, and 51% of which is owned by its subsidiary, CGN Power, a company listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. CGN have been urging for Taishan Unit 1 and 2 to launch in the first and second half of 2017, respectively. An Arriva spokesman said all matters related to Taishan should be answered by CGN Group, the leader of the project. CGN Power, the subsidiary responsible for the plant, will hold its shareholders' meeting tomorrow and reiterated the importance of nuclear safety to the company. It did not respond to other inquiries from Factwire. Factwire reporters spoke to at least seven engineers and architects sent by Arriva to oversee construction in Taishan. They said the power plant would begin operating in 2018 at the earliest, though construction is almost completed. A series of tests have to be carried out to make sure that the power plant is up to standard.